Hello everybody, uh, today I'm doing a Korean style makeup look. Um, I really really like Korean skincare and the like the blushy style and it's like really natural, it suits my kind of style that I do already. Um, and I saw that Kathleen Lights did a, a Korean makeup style which I'll link down below and the inspiration for this look as well. As you can see I've got a few blemishes today that are really irritating me. Um, but yeah it's just uh just popped out so that's that's great um i've got bella curled up next to me um i'm hoping she's gonna behave she's in a good mood so that's good um and as you can see i've refreshed my blue as well um so i'm just gonna get straight into it and stop waving my hands around <laughs> um i know what i want to do but whether i remember or not i'm just gonna tuck my hair back i didn't want to put it in a what they called headband today i don't know why I've lost my stuff already that's a good start isn't it um i've already prepped my skin with a bit of dr botanicals moroccan rose oil which i will link down below um i don't know what's going on with this this was a good idea until i realized that it doesn't want to stay where it's supposed to you know what i'm just gonna pretend that that's fine <laughs> um it's just gonna keep doing it so there's no point moving it really yeah, I'm going to take a bit of my The Body Shop Insta Glow CC Cream in Bright Glow. Um, I've noticed that with Korean makeup, I mean, some of them do use full coverage and some of them don't. Um, so I guess it's just like our Western um, style that it's down to preference as well as traditions. Um, do I mean traditions? I don't, do I? <laughs> like cult like a, a cultural style um but yeah i really like the korean like dewy face look oh i forgot to put the dewy spray on that's fine i'll spritz a bit on in a minute so yeah i'm just rubbing this on this does i've this has been i've used this in a video before it doesn't so much give you coverage as it does even your skin and give you a nice glow um but that's what i prefer as i've mentioned in videos before i don't like foundation um i used to use it but I never really liked the way it looked. I could never get it to look as nice as I can with just concealer and this. So that's what I use now. And I'm going to use some of the um, Super Size Conceal and Define in C1 from Revolution. Just going to dab this on my blemishes. Can't believe I've broken out so annoying but yeah i'm just sort of dabbing this where we need it i'm not going for full coverage so just a natural dewy look so that suits the korean look um i'll link down below my favorite korean skincare which i get from look fantastic who i really like um i haven't got i don't think i've got any korean beauty products so it's just an inspired look but i will um i'll have to look into getting some actually because i think the, the style i like i think i'd quite like korean stuff and as long as it's cruelty free then that's okay oh random hair just decided to join in instant regret on the uh, no headband. <laughs> it's it's go it keeps going from really noisy outside to like soup like re creepily quiet. It's the weirdest day today. I've got dry skin on my nose. That's annoying. Do you ever have a favourite product that you use it once and you really really like it and then you use it again and it doesn't look as good as it did the first time? What's with that? <laughs> so annoying. Just going to put a tiny bit more on that mountain I've got there. And I only use a little under my eyes. I'm really lucky I don't get very like intense dark circles. Um, I know that some people do and they use a bit more uh, concealer. I've got like more wrinkles than circles so... I don't like to use too much under my eyes otherwise it just looks rubbish and creasy I 
There we go. And my primer, my lids. I think in the Korean makeup book I watched, I've watched quite a few, but the one that I'm sort of taking the most inspiration from, I'm pretty sure she did put a little bit of foundation on her eyes. So I'll I'll just set it a little bit like I normally would. I'll prime it a little bit, not set it. You know what I mean. I, I really like the Korean style. It's like the whole e-girl thing. I really like that as well because of the blush. I think it's the blush that draws me into these looks because I'm just obsessed with blush, if, has, if anyone hasn't already noticed. It's just like my thing. It's my one product that I couldn't live without. As long as I've got blush and brows, then I'm happy. <laughs> right, I'm happy with that. That's about as even as it's going to get. I'm just going to take... I noticed that they used, um, most of them use like a cushion foundation because that originates from Korea and um, most of the videos I've watched they used a pressed translucent powder so I'm going to take a bit of my Maybelline Fit Me which isn't cruelty free but I'm using it up and I've got a cruelty free one that I'm going to use once this one's run out um, but I don't like to waste products. I'm literally just taking a light dusted that some of them be used like more powder i didn't see anyone baking or anything like that which i don't do anyway so that's good but yeah i want to keep it dewy so i don't want to like over powder because it's all about that like freshed face look this is just not covering that's two lots of concealer and <sighs> maybe we'll make it into a mole <laughs> We'll see. Right, so that's the base. Then I'm going to take, like, like I said, blush is super important. So I'm going to take my Infinity Palette from Linda Halberg, my um, Shimmer Waves Brick, and my Blush Crush from Lottie London. This is from the Body Shop. And I'm going to do like a combo of those and build it up. Or I'll, I may stop at one of those. I think I'm going to go into Andromeda first from the Linda Halberg Infinity Palette. It's the top one because it's more of a... I don't know if you can see if my light's catching it very well. Um, but yeah, it's like a peachy sort of pinky glow. With a bit of shimmer in it. I'm just going to take this until I... I'm happy with it. I'm sort of focusing it here because I've noticed they place it more under their eyes and then sort of blend it out so you get that like flushed pinky look. You can see the difference already. I don't think I'm going to need as much blush as I thought I was. And the makeup look that I am like most inspired by that I will link down below. Um, she did use a, I think her name's Erin. Um, she did use a bit of highlighter. So I'm going to use a little bit of my light highlighter just over the top and I may like add a bit more blush I don't know what's going on with my hair I'm wearing a headband next time it was a silly idea it keeps getting stuck in my eye <laughs> not exactly useful of course it's going to look more blushy this side because I've got a light this side which is always annoying this is like a peachy blush and I'm using a really soft brush I'm just going to dip into the more pinky one and concentrate that over the top. Then I'm going to swap over and do the same. I really like that. Do the same the other side. Okay, definitely putting my hair back next time. Why on earth did I think that was a good idea? I know how wispy my hair is after I've dried it because I've dried it with a hair dryer today. My hair goes super wispy even if I use like products in it. I'm sort of going under my eye and I'll probably add a bit more at the end as well once I've done the makeup. I've just blended that deeper colour. Ooh, like, I mean, lots of blush, what's not to love. Right, I'll come back to that palette. And then I'm going to take a bit of my Shimmer Waves, which is my, like, all-time favourite blush. It's a peachy, pale blush and I'm just going to go quite heavy into that one. And tap off really well and then just take that all the way over the top and it's weird putting blush under my eye it, that doesn't bring me out in like a a reaction <laughs> my skin's just like always waiting to react or something right keeping with the light fluffy as you can see this is like a really soft 
tapered brush I like this for like a more light touch um, you can't really go too heavy with it you can just keep building it up now I'm going back into the um, infinity palette and into the lightest highlight and I'm literally just gonna dab this in the highlighty places I'm not gonna go too mad with it there just a really dewy look there we go and that's the base i i got this far and then realized i've got nowhere to put anything because i've like moved everything around well done <laughs> and what on earth am i doing next uh, uh brows next what was that <laughs> um going in with i now i noticed that they have the blocky brows and mine are quite blocky anyway so i'm just gonna just kind of do my usual thing but make them more blocky if that makes sense um oh, i don't know if this or the other one would be better i think i might use i'm gonna start with my primark um what's it called three in one brow this is one that is taupe um it's one that i'm using up it's got a pencil and a powder and a uh, spoolie and i've got another one from maybelline that i'm using up as well i think that is taupe as well or soft brown yeah soft brown that one i'm um, using these up before i get a cruelty free version because as i say i don't want to waste stuff um so my brows are already quite blocky and i've not plucked them for this video as well because then i've got more to work with if that makes sense um so i'm just gonna go into ends first i noticed that it's pretty similar to how i would already do mine so yeah, I'm just going through the end. They seem to concentrate most of the colour on the ends. I don't know if this is dark enough, actually. It's probably why I don't use it very often. But I'm just going for like a blocky shape. No arch. Which I don't always fill in the arch anyway, so that works quite well for me. And I'm not going to worry about the front. Just gonna put a little bit because i'm gonna blend it with a brush anyway because most of the videos i've watched that's what they did they like filled it in so it's like quite flat and then went back in with a brush and blended it out which is what i'm gonna do need to make sure i put on enough first doing that on the other side is going to be interesting isn't it <laughs> right i'm gonna do the other brow which i can't see because the light's this side right that's easier let's try that so I'm going in the end again. Try and get this shape the same. And then it goes. It's kind of the same. I feel like I've gone too high on that one. I can never get them like... It doesn't matter what style, what style brow I'm doing. I can never get them quite like... Oh no, no, actually. I think that's doable i think i've got the shape neater on the other one but we'll work with what we've got i can't remember if i said at the beginning of the video that i'm gonna put it in the title anyway but it, i think this would be perfect for valentine's because it's such a soft pinky pinky look right i'm gonna take this Excuse me. I'm going to take the spoolie from my other brush, uh, my other pencil, and I'm going to really blend that out, keeping them quite blocky, just so it looks more natural. And then I'm just going to take my oh, blocking stuff everywhere. Got my lip stuff ready, and it's all going everywhere gonna take a angled brush and i'm just gonna blend over the edge because they like to keep theirs really natural that's like a korean trend everything's natural really like soft i can't remember the word she used as well but just like hair get out of my way but yeah just really soft I don't think that's bad. There, yeah, blocky. Right, I'm going to go in with a bit... Oh, where is my brow gel? I was going to use my new one, but um, we'll go in with the Incredible Brow 
gel is from the little kit Ooh, from collection it's in there normally i would go over with a bit of powder but i'm just going to leave it today i don't want them to look too pigmented if that makes sense and then i'm just going to keep them in that sort of blocky direction i would normally go up i'm just going straight across today just giving it a little bit of texture i quite like that i feel like that's that suits me i don't know if i prefer it to my normal brows but i like it right oh, i'm taking too long today I, was, I really thought this would be a quick look as well but that's what you get for jabbering at the beginning right anyway um i'm gonna go in with i think this is a asda brush i want to say asda um but i want a really soft fluffy brush and i like this one for this sort of makeup it's got glitter on it never use glitter <laughs> um i don't know where that's come from and then i'm gonna go in i'm just blending out the um primer what i used as primer Ooh. then i'm going into my brunch date palette from ColourPop. this is the zoella x ColourPop collab um because it's got the like pinky tones that i want i'm gonna go into this one which is sunny side up and sunday fun day um it's gonna be weird using shimmers for like everything but in the uh, video that i'm gonna link uh, that's what she does it's, they're quite shimmery sort of shades um i'm gonna go into sunny side up and tap that off um need to do this without covering my face and then i'm just going right over the lid and into the crease obviously i can't do it exactly like she did because she's got very different eye shape to me um but this is my interpretation i'm just going to do that both sides and see how that looks oh it's pretty and then i'm going into the sunday fun day shade which is a more chunky sort of pinky glittery look and i'm going on to the outer and inner corner and leaving the inside as it is so it's like super delicate a little wash of color i've got glitter all over me of course delicate it's like the most delicate eyeshadow i've ever done um i'm just going to tap that brush off and just blend the edge just so it's not hard. it's not harsh anyway it's super delicate but i feel better if i blend it a little bit <laughs> then i'm going to go in with the angled brush on the other end that's why i use this brush because it's got like everything i need i'm going to go into americano um which is a deep brown that's this one yeah um a deep brown and i'm just gonna like um run it along my lash line just to give a little line a liner but not and then the same the other side thought i wasn't recording then <laughs> and i've noticed in korea they said they don't go like up like a flick they just keep it like either go like straight along or down slightly because it makes your eyes look more doughy i'm going to do underneath in a minute as well um i'm just going to take a little bit of black eyeliner this is the uh l'oreal le Col super liner that i'm using up um and i've got a, a cruelty free one ready as well um so i'm all ready for when this runs out <laughs> um or expires whichever comes first and i'm just going to take it on the outer
just there like that and then the same on the other side now i've got to get it in the same place doing it one side's not so bad it's getting it the same place i struggle with i'll zoom in in a sec as well i'll show you i'll prefer the way i've done it this side I've done it a bit more gentle this side but as you see i've gone like down with it it's not a harsh line which suits me because i don't like that harsh line anyway i'm just gonna take that brush and blend that i'm gonna use my other mirror because that's driving me nuts um i'll zoom you in as well or click on the screen either one um i'm just gonna blend that i don't know what they're doing next door but I'm annoyed with the sound already and then I'm just going to take that brown again and just pat that over just to really soften that there it's just given a little bit of lift made my eyes look slightly wider I really like that like because it's so soft as well it's so easy to just blend it back out right i'll zoom you zoom you back out and um, i'm just going to do underneath pretty similar to how we did above i'm just going to take a little brush probably too small but that'll be fine little pointed brush and i'm going to go back into sunny side up and run that underneath but um not in the middle so just like the outer and inner oh that looks so nice underneath Makes me look awake. I'm covering my face, aren't I? Nearly made it rock covering my face. There, so it's literally just that. How does that make such a difference? What? I'm definitely trying that again. And then into the more pinky colour, just in the same, just on top. I think I'm just going to keep that on the outer. I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that Americano. Just blend that in. That brown shade. Literally just in the outer corner. I really like that. I don't know why I like that so much, but I love it. Love. It's just so di it's so difficult. Difficult? It's so different from my normal style. It's just so much more delicate. Right. That's the eyes done. I'm just going to... Gunny? I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I don't know where my eyelash curl is. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on, and then I'm going to do the lips, and we're all done, and the brush is going everywhere. There we go. So much for a shorter video, but it's not too bad on time. So I did a full face, that's not bad for me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I have to curl them really well. Which would be easier with my hair out of the way, I must admit. Ow. Don't know if you could hear that, but that was my wrist clicking. Nice and healthy. Oh, she really does. I hope my tap hasn't been dripping that whole time. I have to sort that out for the glossy box video. That's what the makeup looks for. That one, because I wanted to do a Korean inspired one. Right. Curled my eyelashes. We're almost there. And this is the Revolution Mascara. I didn't notice any of the, uh, in any of the videos, using lashes. So that's good because I don't use lashes. I can't stand anything on my eyes. I've got to be super careful just using mascara. love this mascara such a good dupe for um lash paradise 
and cruelty free. Doing so well. Scrub that off in a sec. I managed to get it on my cheek. Yeah, I've gone quite heavy on because it's such a natural like eye look i've gone quite heavy on the mascara more than i normally would but i want them to look nice and full i've mugged that eye up i'll sort that out in a minute where's my little scratchy thing to get rid of it off my cheek I'm just gonna take a spoolie if you let it dry it just scratches off so easy and then i can put a bit more around blush on that if i need to right for the lips i'm gonna take um this is just a um it's all scrubbed off it's one of my favorite like nudie lips it's just like a glossy nudie lip um i'm just gonna put that over just lightly just because i've got like such a a pinky lip already if that makes sense and I want them to look nice and smooth. And I'm always going to like wipe that back off. I know that sounds weird. Um, but for me to do the like nudie ombre lip or like radiant lip. I need something on my lips first because they're such a, a weird tone otherwise. I don't know if that makes any sense. But yeah I'm going to take the um, Carl Lagerford Model Co lip liner. I've got no idea what this colour is called but it's like a pinky colour. Um. I'm going to put that in the centre of my lips. This is like one of my favourite bits of the trend as well. The Korean makeup. And um, that and the um, the blush. I'm just putting that on the centre. Now you can see why I put like a nudie colour on first. Because you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, but yeah, this is just in the centre. I haven't got like any other pink lipstick there. And then I'm just going to smudge that out. I've wanted to have a get this for so long. I don't know why I haven't just done it sooner. And then I'm going to take a bit of red and I'm almost done. I'm just going to put that literally right in the, the centre. To make it even more. Ombre The light's catching it weird, but it does look even. <laughs> I don't know what's happened there. But there we go. I don't know whether that's too pink, but I like it with the makeup anyway. And it's very what I imagine to be Korean. I'm just going to tap over with some lip balm. And I am all done. Bella's just starting to get unsettled. So that was good timing. It doesn't look as... It looks more pink on here. On here. In my mirror than it does on camera. So I'm just going to tap over a little bit of lip pumper. Just to bring that all together. Oh, I like that that's working already there we go um i think i've done everything yeah that's the finished look um i hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry it was a bit longer but a full face always takes me a bit longer um i'm still working on that um i really like this with the blue hair i'm gonna film my glossy box video and let you go and uh if like and subscribe um let me know what you think of the makeup look what your plans are for valentine's um 
anything else you want to chat, chat about in the comments and i'll see you in the next one bye